What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video. And today I've got some King of the Court gameplay for you guys. So in our first game, we're going up against a pure playmaker. As you can see, he's going to break my ankles there, get me to stumble. He's going to get an easy layup. But the thing is, if he turns the ball over, it's over for him. Because he's not even a shooting guard, 6'8". He's a point guard, and he takes that horrible shot right there. I have no idea what he was doing. He should have just tried to break my ankles, drive past me, but I guess his game plan was different. But anyway, I'm going to take him into the post, get an easy post hop shot, full bar, and I bricked it. I guess it wasn't full. It was like 90% full or whatever. So I guess it wasn't the best release, but look at this guy just taking horrible shots. I have no idea what he was doing or why he was even playing King of the Court if he had no chance doing all this stuff. But anyway, I'm going to spin on him, get him jumping, fake him out, and tie the game up. In the first play, I took him down in the post, but in the second play, I had to hit him with something different. I drove to the rack and got a nice Euro step dunk. As you guys know, I love my Euro steps. And I actually learned how to do a Euro step dunk, which is insane because I'm surprised I never knew how to do it. But anyway, I'm going to hit this guy with a step back deep mid range. I don't know how I hit that. I was just taking crazy shots because this guy was just so much shorter than me. So I figured I may as well go for some highlights right here. He's reaching, trying to get a steal, and he made a big mistake because as you can see, I got takeover and there were no more highlights this game because I was just bodying him in the post. But anyway, right here, I'm just going to spin past him and get my first W of the day. In the second game, we ended up going against a play sharp, and once again, I gotta hit him with the Euro step dunk. This is a new move that I learned. I'm gonna be using it a lot more because it's really effective. As you can see, we had two easy scores right here. Now that makes it three. This move is so good, especially on guards, because for some reason, it doesn't really register that they're there. So against this guy, I was just pretty much abusing the Euro step dunk, even with takeover. I wasn't even going into the post. I was just Euro step dunking and Euro step dunking over and over. Right here, he slips behind me. I'm gonna get another dunk. That makes the score six to zero. And it's crazy how this guy could not hold me. I wasn't even posting up. Right here, I'm taking a dumb shot and it still goes in. I don't know how that went in because my bar went all the way up and then it went all the way down to a half bar that honestly should not have went in, but I guess I'll take it. In this next play, I was waiting for him to see what he was gonna do. I hit him with another Euro step and I finally miss. I don't know how I didn't miss the one before that, but anyway, on offense, I wanted to see what he could do. He's a play sharp, so he should be able to dribble. He should be able to shoot. He's gonna step back. And I'm kind of playing the paint, but this man still drives in and takes a horrible shot. I don't know why he even did that. I was literally going to leave him open for three to see if he could time his jump shot or not. And he decides to take it in for a horrible layup. I don't know what he's doing, but anyway, I'm going to hit him with the post hop shot. I'm going to make it. And after that, he still couldn't hold me. 10 to 0. As you can see, I'm sizing him up. He doesn't want to get his ankles broken, so I'm just going to take a post hop shot green and end the game just like that. In our third game, as you can see, the score is 9 to 6. We did end up going against a shot creating stretch, but this game did not have any highlights, which is kind of surprising. I guess this game was a little bit harder because I was going up against a big man, even though he was a stretch. He ended up scoring six points, but I did get the victory. I scored 11. As you can see, first game, we won 11 to one. Second game, we shut out our opponent 11 to zero. Third game, 11 to six. And in our fourth game, we're going up against a rebounding post scorer. So that's not good because number one, he can horse me. Number two, he can body me in the post because he's not a power forward. He's a center. So his strength is probably 99. If not that, then the high 90s. And he's a center, so he can just shoot right over me. As you can see, I did lightly contest the first shot and heavily contested on the second shot. He hits a heavily contested runner. I'm surprised he hit that shot. The first one, I can see that going in. That makes sense. But the second one, no idea how that went in. So once again, he's going down low. He takes a bad shot and he does miss. So I finally get the ball. He's got two points. So all I got to do is score here a few times and get takeover. Right here, I'm going to do a post spin, get a great animation and get my first points of the game. So this guy was kind of scaring me. This is my hardest opponent by far. But anyway, I'm gonna hit him with the Euro step, do a between the legs dunk. No idea how that went in. No idea why my player did it. Between the legs, flashy dunk instead of a normal dunk. But anyway, right here, I'm gonna take him into the post. He's sitting way in the paint. So I'm gonna take a post hop shot, get it to fall. And we just need one more shot. So right here, I'm going back into the post. He's sitting in the paint and I did realize that. So I'm gonna do a post hop shot up and under and get takeover from that. I got him jumping, and I did body him the whole game right here, last possession. I'm going to take it into the post, get him jumping, and I did miss it. I didn't score the end one. I wish I did. That would have been a great way to end off the game. But anyway, 
going into the post, drop step, throw him out of the way, and that's game. We did win king of the court, and I actually did win more than one time. I won four times, which is insane, but for the sake of me getting this video out early to you guys, I'm only going to show you one of the times that I won, but I will put screenshots up right here of the other times that I won, and that is going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.